The Antlers are a group known all too well to the Missouri basketball community as the rowdy stu student group at Tiger Home Games. Now, their chants are funny to some, but they can rub other fans the wrong way. KOMU8's Jack Washer shows how the group is being reprimanded for something they've been doing for years. The Antlers, an exclusive student fan group that originated in 1976. The Antlers got their start when co-founders Jeff Gordon and Rob Banning won season tickets to Mizzou home basketball games. The two won four side seats and became well known by the Mizzou fans for their rowdy cheering style. Over the last few decades, the name The Antlers has stuck and the group has built a reputation for being Mizzou's most dedicated fans. Uh, what sports do you guys cover? Uh, we're primarily basketball, and the reason for that is just because at football games, it's such a large venue, it's, it's hard to be heard and make an impact on the game. Um, so we find that voices, our voices project a lot more of our basketball court, and that's just the way we started. So, uh, How did you realize when you wanted to become an analyst? So, <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. In two, 2007, when uh, Kansas came and played Mizzou, I was a kid, and I was looking at the student section, and they held up like a screen printed bed sheet of Osama bin Laden in a Kansas jersey and it immediately got taken away and ever since then I just know that I want to be an antler and uh, my roommate coming into college was an antler too so I kind of I kind of got acclimated. Uh, what is the most important characteristic of being an antler? Uh, being an antler, being loud, um, showing up, being as funny as you can uh, and just heckling everybody for for everything they're worth. I mean as a fan group, our, I think our basis is just trying to get in people's heads and, and affect the way that they, they play the game, and so every little bit helps. The Antlers are well known for their antics nationwide. They have had several articles written about them in media outlets like Sports Illustrated and USA Today, where the Antlers were named a top five fan group across the country for a stint in the 1980s. Their antics are also well known for getting them into trouble with the school. Some call their style of cheering extreme. The Antlers have been kicked out of games before for provocative signs and excessive cheering. During rivalry week in 2003, the week of Mizzou versus Kansas basketball game, the Antlers are rumored to have prank called the then head coach of Kansas, Roy Williams, throughout the night. How do you guys recruit new members? Uh, so new members. So every fall we'll go to speaker circle and uh, we'll just be chirping at kids, trying to get them to try out. So basically they'll come and fill out an application and what we're measuring there is just to see how creative they can be uh, and how funny. And then so after the application process, uh, we'll do a tryout in speaker circle. And, and the tryout, basically, uh, we can, all the antlers get around and you run out in the middle of speaker circle and they start hounding you with the most random questions like what's your favorite color of Skittle and why? And you, you just try to be as creative as possible. And then after that, there's an initiation process, and that's pretty much it. Um, do you think that the, that a crowd can actually change the outcome of the game? Oh, absolutely. Um, I forget which coach it was. Actually, was it the coach this year? He said the I think it was Conzo. He said the Antlers are good for eight to twelve points a game. Oh, that was the Norm stuff. Oh, the Norm. The norm that was like the, twenty years ago. Yeah, Norm. That's still true. Yeah. yeah, the Antlers are good for eight to twelve points a game. Um, is there anybody slash an organization that oversees the group? Uh, absolutely. We are totally non-affiliated with the University of Missouri, so we, it's just us. Uh, everything's our judgment call, and so, yeah, we don't report to anybody. Uh, you guys have been kicked out of games before. Do you think you take it too far? Sometimes. Sometimes we can take it a little far. Um, but it, I think just again, I mean, that's just who we are. And going through Mizzou Arena, you'll either walk by people that'll go like, oh, it's the Antlers. Or they'll be like, it's the Antlers. And I'll give they either, it's a love or hate thing. And so I think the true fans really get it. Uh, not so much with the fair weather fans, though. Uh, you guys commonly distract uh, opposing teammates during free throws. Do you think the distraction works and you guys have a go-to distraction? <laughs> we do not have a go-to distraction. <laughs> Usually it depends on the player shooting the free throws and uh, what we have background knowledge base wise on them and then other than that just shot out of a cannon trying to be funny we've got our chance too though. we do have we do have some chance yeah every possession we'll switch it up so what do you guys think the biggest game that you played a role in is and what's like the most electric game that you've been a part of 
Um, I know for one, for me, when we were playing Steven at Boston, it was a break game, so not a lot of people were there. I think there were like eight of us total. Um, we won that game by one, but there was one possession where we did like the fake shot clock, so when there was an eight, we started counting down to like five. Um, a guy went up to shoot and just kind of realized like, oh shit, or like a cuss aside. Um, kind of oh shit, and he just threw a ball right at us. We went and scored a layup. So a game like that where you only, where you win by a point, every possession matters. Um, in terms of like the best games we had this year, Mississippi State was good. Um, that's one of the good ones too. Mm, yeah. Kentucky was good, obviously, because the Kentucky arena was jacked. Was yeah. And Iowa State, obviously, was yeah. again. Mizzou basketball is fun again for everyone. Most people on campus are supportive of the Antlers and think that the group is fun. The Antlers help the basketball team win games and they help bring Mizzou's campus alive. The Antlers provide a great environment and create a buzz around campus on game days. Even Mizzou basketball players are supportive of the Antlers. How do you feel about the Antlers? I love the Antlers because they got my back. Every time you got a dead ball, I be here Tilly Tilly! Tilly Tilly, baby. I love that shit. Uh, what's your favorite part of being an Antler? Uh, for me personally, um, just kind of being a part of Mizzou basketball. Like once I realized I wasn't good enough to play here, that's when I'm like, hey, the Antler is probably the next best thing and trying to impact positively on the court. But I mean, kind of the camaraderie because the guys that you join with are kind of your brothers and everything like that. And they, a lot of us have the same interests. We hang out together, we go out together, go to games, obviously. So just stuff like that. Uh, when you guys get in trouble, who gets involved? Do you guys have to talk to student conduct or the athletic department? Um, department, event staff, most of the time. Yeah, there's a lot of event staff. staff there a couple of times. The AD, it's gone up to the AD once or twice. And there's actually not been any with that. But we're on good terms now. We're on yeah. good terms, so working hard to keep that. Uh, you guys have a very active Twitter. Is that a big part of intimidating opponents? I don't know if I'd say intimidating. It's more for kind of just being funny, I think. Being, yeah, yeah young, dumb, and stupid. Um, uh, is your Twitter account ran by one person? Uh, it's kind of ran by a collective high mind of like four or five guys. Um, does Mizzou put regulations in place for you guys, like where you could sit or like? Um, obviously, because Zoo Creek is the first ten rows, so we have to take um, everything behind that, and then when we move up, they let us. Um, but beyond that, they really don't regulate us beyond like signs, so we're not trying to go too over the line with stuff like that. Yeah, the Antler Avalanche. The Antler Avalanche. So when Zuku doesn't fill up those first ten rows, and it's what ten minutes left, five minutes, five minutes before tip, uh, we can all run down as far as the Zuku's came up. And so they call that the Antler Avalanche. Yeah. And Zuku's been really cool with it too. Like a couple times last year, they let us move up at like ten minutes or whatever before tip. Yeah. Would you guys say that you're more under the radar now? Like have regulations become more strict in recent years? Um, talking to guys from past years, I think they've kind of loosened up on a lot. Like, for one, I'm sure people have noticed, like, we have the nicknames on our back. Like, they usually just try to tape them up, or they used to if they are too inappropriate. Um, but, like, this year, I don't think we had anyone get taped up. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. um, do you guys get any discounts on tickets? No, we wish. <laughs> Absolutely no benefits of being yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Do opposing team members ever turn back? Um, during Mississippi State, one of their players, Xavier Stapleton, if he's here next year, we're going to give him a lot of crap. But when they were going their run, because we blew like a 12-point lead with a minute left, and he started chirping at us to shut up, and sure enough, he came back and won it. He wouldn't even look at us on the way out. Um, then I had an Auburn player yell at me he's going to smack the shit out of me. So that was neat. Um, have you guys had any interesting interactions with the Mizzou team or coaching staff? Uh, Conzo has talked to us at Buffalo Wild Wings once or twice when we were there for Tiger Talk, but I don't think beyond that, nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah. What about stuff you're trying to get Oh, uh, uh, yeah, we had our whole Twitter thank thing. Thank God for Twitter and Sophie Cunningham. Yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> No, she didn't really interact much, actually. She kind of broke our hearts yeah, as a collective bunch. I mean, Tammy got the strawberries and took yeah. a picture, and she's like, see you guys later. Yeah. 
We've actually had fellow like antlers have like asked her out on like dates and like or like we have like events that we'll have. They'll be like drinking events or whatever. And she'll be like, oh I'll for sure come and then just like ghosts us. It's like <laughs> Well the one her excuse was she had a game. So I, mean, it was, I kinda understand that. The antlers are good for basketball and they're good for Mizzou. This group of students likes to have fun and get rowdy at sporting events as a way of showing support and passion for their school. Mizzou should be proud to have such a group of passionate and involved fans on campus. The Antlers started in 1976 and it doesn't look like they'll be leaving anytime soon. The student body loves the group and so do the players. Without the Antlers, Mizzou basketball just wouldn't be the same. Good idea. That's it.